Hello and welcome back. Welcome to the second video of my two part video series where I created some strategy game units. In this second video, like I announced in the first video already, I will create some infantry units, model them, rig them, give them some equipment like a rifle, a pistol and a grenade and model a helicopter. If you haven't seen the first part, feel free to check it out. I created four vehicle based ground units, a tank, a truck, an artillery truck and a Humvee over there. And that's about that. I hope you have a great time.
So now we have reached the end of the second video. I hope you enjoyed this little video series where you saw a lot of different kind of models which I created. Of course all of them are military but yeah there was some rigging, there were some infantry units, there was some tank chunky truck kind of stuff. So there was some <laughs> different types of things which I modeled. and. In the future of course I will create some different things as well in my next 10 minute modeling challenges which will not be military related. By the way I haven't even talked about that at all. My girlfriend asked me why I need to model military units and not model something else. So I just want to add a little disclaimer here. Military units look great and all but of course, and I'm sure you know that, but still it would be best of course if they are never used on actual human beings. Sadly that is not the case in our real world, but if you have the choice, stay peaceful, make love, not war, you know the drill. I hope you have a great day. Hey, before this video ends, one little disclaimer, you might saw me modeling the infantry units and their arms are really not well following the, the bones when I'm trying to post them and that is because I didn't create any extra edges to allow folding of the arms and that was of course not really smart I didn't think about that and only saw it that that makes or that that is a problem when it was too late so I just modeled some blue stuff as you can see in the background and you can see that on the left it doesn't fold really really well and on the other side it folds better because I added some edges, extra edges to allow better folding. So you might want to take care of that when you are modeling something yourself that is going to be rigged and bent or posed. That's it, see you.